If you hunt or fish or spend time outdoors regularly, you probably heard of something called the pebble mine. It's been talked about for many years. It's an enormous mine, just proposed at this point, not in operation, a gold and copper mine that would be built on Southwest Alaska's Bristol Bay. And the concern is it could be devastating to the fisheries there and to the wildlife. Many of the world's salmon spawn there. And so conservation groups have been fighting this proposed mine for quite some time. Now it could potentially become a reality. Permitting is before the administration right now and will be decided soon. Interestingly, in most environmental controversies, there's a clean partisan split. Republicans are on one side, Democrats on the other. But this is not so clear. Suddenly you are seeing a number of Republicans, including some prominent ones, including some very conservative Republicans, saying, hold on a moment. Maybe Pebble Mine is not a good idea. Maybe you should do whatever you can not to despoil nature. And maybe not all environmentalism is about climate. A lot of interesting questions. We are honored tonight to have Johnny Morris. He is the founder of Bass Pro Shops, probably the greatest outdoor retailer in the history of the world. Some of us think so. And we're happy to have him. Mr. Morris, thanks so much for coming on. Hey, thank you, Tucker. Thank you for your enthusiasm for Bass Pro Shops. I'm coming to you here from our headquarters granddaddy store. We started here about 50 years ago, and I feel so blessed in my life, you know, be introduced to the sport of fishing by, along with my sisters, by my mom and dad. And I just, I just want to say to you, uh, as a fellow, I hear you like to fish, and I just want to say as a fellow angler, thank you from all fellow anglers and really everyone that loves the outdoors and nature and for future generations for spotlighting this issue that you're raising tonight because it's extremely important. It's such a amazing, fragile, special resource, not just for here in America, but for the world. It's amazing. Well, I think that's right. And the, the reason I was so eager to talk to you is that I don't think of you as a political figure. I, I've never seen you weigh in one way or the other on a political issue. I don't think this is a political issue. Explain for us, to our viewers who aren't familiar with this, as crisply as you can, why you're concerned about the construction of a massive mine in Alaska. Why is this pebble mine a problem, do you think? You're right. Conservation should be a uniter of people, right? That's right. Of everybody. So this mine is proposed in really the heart of the largest spawning grounds in the world, one of the most pristine areas, watersheds, really, in the world. Over 50 million salmon have already spawned there this year. Approximately half of all the wild salmon that's harvested for the world comes from this region. A lot of jobs, you know, there, I hear this proposed mine, maybe 2,000 jobs. There's 14,000 plus uh, jobs currently serving, you know, recreational fishing, commercial fishing, uh, ecotourism. Uh, so there, there's a lot of economics with this, but beyond that, you know, I was hearing you speak earlier, Tucker, about, you know, just we hear the news and not all that's happy. There's a lot of issues that are bad that's in the right. world. And for people to have a pristine place to go, uh, and this is sought after by people really all over the world to come here. And so we, to me, uh, it's worth fighting for, standing up to say this, this mine has some value. I, I want, I, if I have a minute, I'd like to share with you a quote uh, that's very profound from President Roosevelt, who's really the father of conservation. Amen. There can be no greater issue than that of conservation in this country. We must conserve the soil so that our children shall have land that is more and not less fertile than our fathers dwelt in. We must conserve the forest, not by disuse, but by use, making them even more valuable at the same time that we use them. We must conserve the mines. Moreover, we must ensure so far as possible the use of certain types of great natural resources for the benefit of the people as a whole. And I do applaud our president because I think he's helped us regain our energy independence. And, you know, the, how the impact on our economy and our, also our safety, security to be independent from some of our foreign enemies, it's very important. And I think these things can go together hand in hand. We can harvest in a healthy, responsible way and yes. still have, you know, like Roosevelt said, enhance our resources. Anybody 
who doesn't spend a good part of his life outdoors is not a credible voice on conservation or the environment. And you are the opposite. You've spent an awful lot of your life outdoors. Johnny Morrison, it's, it's an honor to have you on the show tonight. And I should say that Trout Unlimited and a lot of other conservation groups with actual sportsmen in them, people who hunt and fish and use the outdoors, have the same position that you do. And God bless them for that. Thanks hey, a lot. One closing thing. Of course. My son and I, how do you put a price on that grin? It's not just me and my boy, but it's fathers, sons, daughters, grandparents. Go fishing. It's a happy thing. We Amen. appreciate you, Tucker. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.